The Lost City Getty Ruins, Malindi One of Kenya's greatest undiscovered treasures is Getty, a lovely lost city hidden deep within the massive Arabuko Sokoke forest. Built in the 13th century, this once prominent civilization was a strong and sophisticated Swahili settlement with more than 2,500 inhabitants. Numerous homes, villas, mosques, and ornate tombs and cemeteries may be found among the remains of Getty. Despite its size and intricacy, this substantial settlement, at least 45 acres, is never referenced in historical texts or locally recorded histories. Melindi, a nearby Portuguese settlement, doesn't appear to have communicated with or even been aware of Getty. The biggest mystery surrounding Getty, nevertheless, was its abrupt and puzzling abandonment in the 17th century. All of the town's inhabitants had abruptly left, leaving it to decay in the forest. Once again, no such extensive exodus at this time is mentioned in the local historical records. Within the forest that has engulfed and eaten the town are the eerie ruins of Getty. Getty is still a fascinating and intriguing place to stay. The pillars and stone walls, wrecked mosques and tombs now lay among stands of trees. Because there are no recorded accounts of this site, archaeologists and historians have been perplexed by it for a long time. Getty was abandoned according to one theory, nevertheless, historians and archaeologists argue that there is no proof of a fight or other disturbance in this old town. Another idea contends that the town's population, which is estimated to have been around 2,500 people, may have been driven away as a result of the Indian Ocean's retreating seas, which are said to have exhausted the town's supply of wells and rendered it uninhabitable. A recent argument contends that the early settlers of Getty were compelled to leave because of hostility from the Gala people, an ethnic group from the interior. Again, though, this notion is unsupported by any evidence. Architecture the ancient Arabuko Sokoke forest contains the 45 acres, 18 hectares, that make up the Getty ruin site. Two walls separate the historic town of Getty, the outer wall surrounds 45 acres, 18 hectares, and the inner wall surrounds 18 acres, 7.3 hectares. The urban center is contained within the inner wall and consists of two mosques, a palace or sheikh's residence, four sizable homes, a number of closely spaced homes, and four sizable pillar tombs. Four further residences and three other mosques are enclosed by the inner wall. With the exception of two mosques, there aren't many stone buildings between the inner and outer walls. There is a mosque nearby, along with a number of other unnamed buildings. Getty has a well-established infrastructure in addition to being split by the inner and outer walls, which produced an urban core occupied by the site's most important buildings and regions of occupation between and outside of the outer wall. Getty's buildings seem to be formally placed in accordance with roadways that have been planned in a grid. The property also had restrooms in several of its main buildings, as well as sumps to catch storm water. The majority of Getty's buildings were domestic dwellings with thatched roofs made of mud buildings positioned between the outside and inner walls, however, the only structures that have endured to the present day were built with coral stones obtained from the Indian Ocean. Coral started to be used more frequently for significant constructions and affluent homes throughout the 14th century, despite the fact that some of the buildings date back earlier. The structures at Getty are all one-story constructions. Similar lime mortar was used to build the walls and other coral buildings, and most foundations were filled with stones and were no deeper than one foot. Foundations tended to be no wider than the wall they supported when they were utilized. Non-utilitarian design components can be seen in many different contexts. The building's doorways have square frame pointed arches, while the tombs and mosques have carved or porcelain inlaid spandrels and architraves. Object Culture Numerous items have been found during excavations at Getty, although beads and pottery are the most prevalent and frequently addressed in literature. These objects have been used to date the occupation of the site and identify trade routes. Numerous titles assigned to the stone homes are references to items discovered within or around, such as two Chinese coins, a porcelain bowl, scissors, a Venetian bead, cowrie shells, an iron light, and an iron box. It has been discovered that the material remains discovered in Getty are comparable to the remains of nearby Swahili coastal settlements, with the greatest degree of variety among the pottery types exhibited. Kirkman looked at eight sites, and three of them, Getty, Anwana, and Kalepwa, had essentially identical. With its pillar and stone walls, 
ruined castle, and mosques encircled by dense forest canopies, the site continues to be an intriguing and distinctive destination to visit in Kenya.